hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about tuberculosis and pregnancy so uh, and uh, the very important aspect of this video we will also talk about different TB medications their safety profile in pregnancy too which drugs should be avoided and which drugs should be cautiously used that will be also discussed so this is going to be a very important video for you so TB is a disease of a developing countries the mycobacterium bacteria is the causative factor primary infection will give a fever and cough then after three to eight weeks the cellular response towards the organism will be there and that will make a positive tuberculin test that will be followed by a latency of of some years and then reactivation and after this reactivation the tuberculosis can affect any almost any system of the body like pulmonary miliary tuberculosis pericarditis peritonitis genito urinary system bones meninges neural systems everything the TB can infect so this is after a latency that will be called a secondary infection okay so this is what basically uh, uh, TB in general the BCG vaccine which is given in many countries um, if the BCG vaccine is given to the baby then the tuberculin test will become positive so this test the tuberculin test which sometimes has been used as a screening test is no not of use where the BCG vaccination is done <clears throat> now again TB and pregnancy they are totally different uh, uh, processes so actually there is uh, very less uh, uh, the very less uh, <clears throat> connections between pregnancy and TB TB can go by its own pregnancy can go by its own so we don't just uh, 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 they don't affect each other as much as they can so now IUGR sometimes congenital TB and sometimes IUGR both of these factors sometimes can be seen in the pregnancy uh, along with the tuberculosis after all they are total two different entities so uh, if a person has a TB and uh, if the person is also having pregnancy there is actually no uh, effect of TB on pregnancy generally until unless TB the disease is so much of severe okay now let's discuss the main thing that is treatment what is the treatment of TB medications antibiotics and those antibiotics are well known let's start with the isoniazide isoniazide is a first line drug the side effect of this drug is a peripheral neuropathy and liver functional and liver function deterioration the peripheral neuropathy is due to the side effect of isoniazide that is demyelination so because of demyelination peripheral neuropathy will be there but it can be prevented with the use of pyridoxine vitamin b6 okay it can also cause some liver uh, liver enzyme elevations also so if the person is receiving isoniazide monthly LFTs can be done rifampicin is a very safer drug <laughs> but theoretical uh, vitamin K deficiency can be there so uh, vitamin K should be supplemented in the third trimester of the pregnancy ethambutol is uh, again uh, a good drug but still there is a there is a, a, a hypothesis of fetal ocular toxicity so ethambutol can be avoided if the disease is controlled by isoniazide and rifampicin only pyrazinamide is a drug which is generally avoided in the pregnancy but theoretical disadvantage is there but with the studies a very less amount of side effect is there with the pyrazinamide when uh, for the use in pregnancy so if if we need if that uh, if the infection is so severe then you can safely use pyrazinamide uh, but if the infection is controlled with isoniazide and rifampicin and ethambutol don't use pyrazinamide 
Streptomycin is a clear cut contraindication in the pregnancy because it has a well documented fetal autotoxicity, autotoxicity side effects. So, we should avoid, should not, we must avoid streptomycin because another options are well available. The drug which are safe in pregnancy, they are also safe in breastfeeding. So, if the patient is breastfeeding, then also these drugs can be given. There is no need of isolation of the baby. The baby should be given isoniazide profile access. So, this is how, uh, this is what I think we should discuss in the TB and pregnancy. Thank you friends.